Hello and welcome to this short video where we will demonstrate Odeon uh, using the demo version. So everybody can download the demo version and we will follow that. And if you have a paid version, it's fine. You can also use this introduction video. There's a longer introduction video that will go more into detail. This is just a brief, uh, short introduction to the to the general workflow in Odeon. I just, on my left here we have Odeon and on my right I just draw um, the workflow, the first thing you do in ODN is to import a 3D model. It's a room acoustic um, simulation software. Um, it's, you can also measure in the ODN, but I'm not going to cover that in this video. This is only going to cover the simulation part. So you import a 3D model that you made in another software. I normally recommend SketchUp. That works very well with ODN, but you can also use a range of other 3D modeling softwares and just import formats like uh, DXF or something like that. Uh, the second thing you would do is to set up the model. So you set up some sound sources and some receivers and choose the materials in your model. And then you run the simulations and you investigate re the results. And because the simulation, uh, the calculation time is quite short, you can have like an iterative process where you redo this process uh, many times to find the right uh, source positions or the right materials or what you're looking for. So we'll just try to do that. Um, since I'm using the demo version, I cannot import uh, a 3D model. I can only use the rooms that comes with ODN, but there's plenty to, to choose from. Um, we have a central station, we have some concert halls, an oil rig for industrial noise, and these comes with a lot of calculations and a lot of results that you can investigate. But um, we'll just use this example. It's just uh, because it's it's empty for um, calculations, sound sources, etc. And it's very simple, so it's very nice, easy to get an overview. It is a very simplified model of an auditorium. This is the audience area and this is the stage area. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up uh, some sound sources. And we're going to do that in this menu called Source Receiver List. So in this um, small tutorial you know, introduction video, we're just going to use a uh, point source. There's also different other options in some of the editions of Odeon, but we're just going to make a point source. And then you can either place it with Control and left click here in the grid, or you can set up the exact position using these boxes. Uh, you also have um, other options like equalizing or directivity, but for this video we will just skip that. There's a longer video um, that uh, explains everything more in detail, so if you want a more detailed explanation of Odeon, I'd really recommend the longer video. Okay, so now we have a few sound sources. The next thing we want to do is, is set up some receivers. We're just gonna do that. You can see I click down here, new receiver, left click, control and left click in the grid uh, or again set up the exact position in these boxes. Um, I'm gonna skip a lot of options here uh, to make this video short. Um, yeah, But again if you um, have more interest then please see the longer video um, that we made with many more details. There's another option uh, in w some of the additions for receivers beside these point receivers then you can define a grid, which is where you choose a surface. And you can see the surface is outlined with red here. I'll just take this main audience uh, floor. And then you can see show grid, that a grid will be placed on top of that, um, or above that surface. And, and calculation will be made for receiver on each of these points and, and make a beautiful color grid. I'll show that in a minute. Okay, so we define some receivers both in a grid and some point receivers, and then we select the materials. So for all uh, models in Odeon, for all surfaces in the room, you need to select the materials. Now it's already done for this model, but what you generally do is that here we have the global material library, where you find the absorption coefficients you want or the material you, you have in your model. You can also set the exact values uh, down here for, for all the surfaces in your room. Uh, another thing you can set up here is the scattering coefficient. Uh, quite uh, nice to have it as accurate as possible and you can find um, 
rule of thumb you could say in our manual how to s to s to evaluate this in the room. You also have uh, other options that I will skip for this video in order to make it short. Again, I refer to the longer video uh, introduction video where more will be covered and all our other videos um, covering. We have one only covering the material list, etc. Um, so you you um, select the materials for all surfaces, and then it says choose accuracy, and that's done in the room setup. There's two things you need to do in here. You can ignore most of it for most cases, but you need to set the impulse response length, and that needs to be around as long as the reparation time. Of course, if you don't know the reparation time, this you can use this global estimate to estimate it, and then you can set the impulse response length here. Um, the second thing you do is to choose the number of late rays, and that is where you choose the accuracy, uh, but also the higher the number, the longer the calculation time will be. But as ODN is generally quite fast, uh, you, can, you can often set it higher than engineering, but it depends on how, how large your model is. But engineering is will calculate uh, a number for engineering purposes, precision for more academic purposes, but um, normally I just take something in between the two. Okay, so now I set the accuracy as well, and then I just run the simulation, and here I go into the job list, which is here, and you can, I made a job here called test, and I activate the two sources, or let's just say I just want the one source to be active in this calculation, and I want the grid response, uh, covering the surface. I want multi, which is uh, not all um, results is available in all editions. So the multi will be available in all editions, the grid only in some. Multi is where you calculate all the point receivers here. And then single point response receiver. Um, so that is that you calculate for one of them, you calculate more results and um, then you have in the multi for this specific receiver, I'm choosing the number one here. And then you just run the calculation. And the single and the multi point response will be very fast. And then slightly longer will be the grid response, as you can see here, but still uh, quite fast. Um, and this is an with a high number of um, rays, uh, and thereby more accuracy. But if you have a large model, of course, um, accuracy and and time calculation time will will compete. But generally, you could say that ODN is a very fast software. So now I entered the 3D grid where we could see the grid that I talked about. Here you can see the different acoustic parameters, and I'll just scroll through some of them. And you can see how the parameters will um, behave according to position in the room. Here's the SPL. Um, yeah. So that was the grid response. Now I'm going to look at the multipoint response, which is here. And then you can see that um, we have energy parameters, where we have the all the acoustic parameters and numbers energy parameters bars, where you will have the um, energy parameters in, in bars and in graphs, so you can display them. Uh, and then you have a lot of other results that I will again skip to make this video as short as possible. The same thing is uh, available for the single point response. You have the energy bars, here's uh, T15, T20 for the different acoustical parameters. You have the energy bars here. Then you have the parameters, the acoustic parameters and numbers. And then you have a range of other um, acoustical results here to investigate further. Yes, another thing that I'll not cover in uh, this video is oralization, and that's listening to the acoustics in the room. So you can, you can listen how a voice, an instrument or another audio file would, would sound in the room. Uh, and included in ODN is a lot of anechoic uh, audio files that you can use for this purpose, but again, only for some editions. Um, 
that's it for the, the very short introduction to Odeon. Um, but uh, if you are interested, see the longer introduction and then see all the other videos covering one tool at the time. Um, have a nice day and enjoy the software.